Okay, so video four of my vlog, which I always forget just to do regular videos instead of using Snapchat because it cuts you off, of course. <sighs> Alicia. But yeah, like I said, like I was saying, whooping cough done today. Woo, kind of hurts. Definitely feels like you got punched in the arm because now it's been like a, I haven't been on the, like an hour or two now since I've been to the doctor. Thank goodness uh, my second mama took me, Angel. And thank goodness I uh, did my glucose test. Sally, get off of her, please. <sighs> Damn dog. I love you, but woo! You're such a stinker sometimes. Go, go. I forgot to bring her ball outside again because I'm not even kidding. How rude. Okay, we're on a canal in the middle of the country and I had two balls to Sally out here because she loves playing ball out here. And somebody walking or whatever moved both balls and obviously there's wind right now and obviously it's the country so maybe critters or whatnot but i had one ball next to a log like underneath that you can't get it to it unless you're like a human and then i had another one so you know two balls missing is a human moving them so it's like are you serious how how in the country but lately there's been like joggers and stuff out here but if it's one of them, I'm seriously going to be like, leave the balls alone. I understand if you have dogs, buy your own balls. So, oh, so either I'm going to have to carry the ball every time I come out here, which for like the fourth time, I keep forgetting every time I come out here to bring her ball because she loves chasing balls. And that plus it's good for her to get exercise, especially being a German Shepherd and it's good for her hips and everything. And she's still young. Thank goodness. She's two years old. But I'm like, oh, it's going to be so difficult to either bring it in and out because I always forget. Or leave, try to leave another one again. But then I'm like, no, I'm going to put it. Because it's like, that's so dumb. How rude of a person. It's like, how is that possible? That's normal in the city. But in the country, it's like, really? In the middle of nowhere? What? what? But you wouldn't think that'd be a problem out here in the middle of the boondocks. But yeah, anyway, so whooping cough shot done today. Thank the Lord, my only insert. Thank God of a shot at least. Because after that, it's just blood tests that I already finished. No, di no diabetes. Thank you, Lord. Well, pregnant. And so far, my measurements are good. And he's healthy and his heartbeat's accurate. So ah, my baby boy's doing good at 28 weeks. Mama loves her baby boy. My Ronnie Jr. is his name. But yeah, I'm waiting to meet him so I could give him a nickname because I'm not going to say Rodney, Rodney, Rodney because there's three Ronnies in the household. Dad and my, my partner, Rodney, and now our baby. So no, I'm going to wait to meet him, of course, because I'm like, I don't know if I want to call him like Baby Bear, RJ, because Ronnie Jr., I don't know, Baby Brown, because that's what I've been calling him since I, when I didn't know his gender. If it was a girl or boy, I was just calling them Baby Brown because... Brown's gonna be our last name. Well, it will be my last name soon. Once we marry and whatnot, which is down the road. And my plan is when we do, either a church, a Catholic church in Modesto, but we would have to take a course for a week. Cause I'd be like, I don't know if you, they won't let you though, because I was like, I was raised Christian, but my grandma was Catholic and she went to that church. That's why I love to get, get married there. And all my aunts and uncles did, and even my mom did. So, Sally, don't eat things. So, I love to get married there. It's downtown Modesto. It's like almost where the Max buses are, downtown Modesto. And it's like a Catholic church, a little bit like two blocks over from the bus stop where all the buses stop. So, I'm like, oh, that'd be amazing because all my family went there. And then they have amazing um, glass stained windows and they have like um, displays of Jesus and Mary. But of course, being a Christian, I'm like, we don't pray to Mary. No offense to your religion if you're a Catholic. Mary's mommy, Jesus' mommy, but we pray to God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit being Christian. So yeah, if they don't let me, then I was thinking like a barn. Because I've seen somewhere that you can actually rent this one place. Super expensive, though. That's the, par that's the problem. Well, anywhere will be expensive. But like rent someone's barn. So like have it in the barn and then have the little party out there and be like, good I think that'd be cute because my plan is of course having a gorgeous beautiful dress just white and blue I want to mix dark blue in it because I love dark blue and awesome I'm having a son so it's even better and like I would love to carry him down the aisle it's just something 
I would love to do. And then like of course hand out to my mommy one time down the aisle to say the vows and whatnot with my partner. I'm just saying later down the road. <laughs> we haven't even like he hasn't even proposed or anything like that and whatnot and we haven't thought about it fully but I'm just saying that's the idea future wife going to be so yeah that we are going to get married most likely but you know two it's because you know if we do right now then we'd have to pay out of pocket for like giving birth and everything like that and financially and whatnot and we can't afford that right now so so we just are married under God that's what I did so, so I'm like so we won't go so I won't go to hell because I'm Christian so I'm like so because you know we did things and had a baby <laughs> obviously so yeah so I'm just like well we're married under God because my oath to you is I love you and you love me so we're married under him but not just legally yet because legally we don't have a million dollars so because <laughs> then we'd have to pay for everything ourselves and I'm like no I gotta sell my insurance right now and whatnot because the government pays that <laughs> At least for right now, if you're not a millionaire billionaire, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what's best for the baby too. And I'm like, that's best for the baby. So we can afford him night diapers. He's gonna need a lot of night diapers. But yeah, so anyways, after that, yeah, future goals of legitimately getting married, but we already promised to each other pretty much and whatnot. But um, obviously, like, well, duh. But yeah, my whooping cough shot arm hurts a little dash. Walking my babies, doing my blog video, of course. And look, at I love that tractor so much. It's so cute. I love seeing that. It's my favorite thing to live in the country and the cows across the street, which I'm, where I'm always walking across the street. And people are probably wondering, well, like, why don't you just walk on Ronnie's land instead? Because there's two vicious pit bulls that live on the property, which not supposed to be there, but, but um, they live there on the land. Where we live and uh the pit bulls always trying to attack my dogs and stuff so we go across the street and i walk while well, i'm carrying a backpack all the time is because i walk with my phone just in case you know i don't feel good or something i'll just call somebody to come pick me up like angel or ronnie if they're home or whatnot be like i don't feel good you gotta come get me because i'm right across the street but you know if i can't make it because i'm pregnant and uh my mace can just in case for a, a human or those dogs because yeah i will I love all animals, but if they're going to be vicious and try to attack one of my babies, my babies, these two dogs are like my first two kids. Mm -hmm. I don't, it's like I love other people's dogs, but if your dog's vicious, they're going to try to attack mine, rip their neck or something. I'm like, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to kill your dog. We're going to have to blind it. It's like, that's not my fault. It's like, I think it lasted for like 15 minutes. So I'm like, he might get his eyes that back. He might not. But I'm like, well, that's your fault. You should teach your dogs not to run up to other dogs and attack them and bite them and try to kill them. You should, as an owner, you should know that. My dogs don't try to attack and kill people. They just will bark at you because they don't know who you are. So they try to protect me and keep me safe, but that's a good dog. That'd be dumb if they wanted to go to everybody. I'd be like, they're not keeping me safe. Yeah, so they won't bite necessarily, of course. But they are just protecting me so though if they bark at you and whatnot it's like well they number one most likely they don't know you they don't know who you are they don't know if i'm safe or not so that, i hate when people say that too so it's like will your dogs bark or like will they attack you it's like probably they don't know who you are you're a stranger like that's a dumb question to ask they don't know they're not vicious that's the thing so it's like no they're not vicious no they will not eat your child of course but i'm like at the same time well snow white's friendly last time i think about her sometimes thank goodness she barked at min though but she's friendly with little kids and old people so i'm like well see that's good sally she barks at everybody but that's great because you know she's a german shepherd and i want her to be like that because keeping me safe and the baby safe later when we do walks and we're out on about so so yeah i think that's like the safe way to be but th like they'll listen to me when i tell them no one of course jump and attack and rip people's arms off it's like duh they would just be cautious of you Sally like stares at people too she's like I don't know you you stay away from me. which is great because what a guard
guard dogs are supposed to do. That's why I mostly got them too. They're my guard dogs and my babies. Oh, but yeah, walking out here. 